I've got a checklist for you for your healing now. I wish I had this because I was not doing half of these things and it will speed up your healing so much if you are. I want you to think of yourself like a car that has broken down and you're pointing in the wrong direction, okay? You've got loads of spanners in your engine. These are your emotional threads, these stored emotions that basically stopped your engine working and I've got it, of course. Also, even if we remove all of these spanners and the engine starts working again, you're pointing in the wrong direction. So the checklist is about, have you got everything aligned to push you back into the right direction once your emotional threads have gone? Because sometimes we release them and the car just starts going in the right direction. But other times, especially when you've had something for a really long time, there's a lot that you need to align. And this is a blind spot I did not know about. So we're going to be looking at your pen drop, your language, your acceptance, your thoughts. So I'm going to go through each one as quickly as I can. You need to make sure you've got all of them lined up. So firstly is your pin drop. So imagine you're in your car. You are going to put in your Google Maps the vision of where you're going. And this will help your car go in the right direction. I didn't even know I was doing this, but it definitely helped me. I had an image, and it's always good if it's like a slight movie, like a two-second movie. I had an image of myself in the future that was non-negotiable, that was me throwing away my thyroid medication over my shoulder because I didn't need it anymore. And I knew that was where I was going, always. Always had it in the back of my head. So pick that image that is non-negotiable. And so I mean by that, for instance, if you've got chronic fatigue, maybe you're just sitting on top of a mountain having an ice cream. You know, it implies that you have healed. Or maybe you're in Italy. You know, you can't get there unless you've healed. So pick an image that is joyful, that absolutely non-negotiably implies that you have healed. And have that and revisit it every day. The next thing is your language. Make sure your language is aligned to where you are going. Your brain is always listening. You do not want it hearing, I can't eat this. I have an allergic reaction if I eat this. That's not good for me. I don't have the energy to do this. All of those things your brain is listening to and it is programmed to listen out for negativity. And so if you're constantly reaffirming that there is danger if you do X, Y, and Z, it is constantly reaffirming that in the body. Stop the I can't, stop the limiting beliefs, stop the I can't eat this. Now I'm not saying you then go and start eating all the gluten. What you're gonna do is you're gonna align your language so it's normal, so it's what that new version of you says. Because they're not saying, I can't. So what is normal is for them to say, I don't feel like, I don't feel like having bread today. I don't feel like going on a walk today because that's normal. That's normal language for this new you. It means stopping conversations with your family, constantly talking about the state of your body. Even tell them if you can, I don't want to talk about this anymore. And if they're people that constantly want to ask you, plan redirections. So plan a question to ask them when they ask you a question. <laughs> Redirect the conversation. Next is your thoughts. Get your thoughts aligned to the new you. This is massively important. Where we put our attention, everything goes. So think about health forms, <laughs> spiraling on the computer, looking up, Googling symptoms. Is that something that new you does? Because I tell you what, I don't do that anymore. And so that's not something you should be doing. If that new version of you in the future is not Googling on health forums because they're so busy living their best life, you shouldn't be either. Unsubscribe from all of the health chats you're on. Change your name if it's linked to your illness because I tell you what, that is one of the worst things keeping you ill is if you're like Hashimoto's Haley or Crohn's Caroline or whatever it is. Get your identity away from that. It needs to be all about what that new version of you is doing. And I tell you what, they're not thinking about illness. They're off like skiing in the Alps or whatever it is they're doing. They're having an amazing, huge, big life. They're not on health forums. Stop reading the books. Stop Googling the websites. Stop that spiraling. If you catch yourself in a spiral, in a worry about your health, redirect that somewhere else because your new version is not doing that. What is new you spending your time doing? They're not thinking about their body. They're busy having amazing life. So what is that amazing life? Are you dancing? Are you eating? Are you traveling? Start doing those things. Start buying the books that new you is reading. Start 
going to those things as much as you can that New Year is going to. Plan them, talk about them, Google them, go onto forums about them. Make your brain spend that time in those thoughts so that everything is about new you and not old new. That can be really hard, especially if you are struggling in the minute and this is where acceptance comes in. If you are having flaring symptoms, it is really hard to take your mind off the body. What you're aiming for is 80% of your day to be in that new you mindset, okay? So if 20% of the day you're like, woe is me, this hurts, blah, 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 or I've got to go to a doctor and I've got to do this, it's not the end of the world. You want to aim for the vast majority of your day to be in that new mindset. It can be really hard when you're in a flare to do that. And there is a technique around acceptance which helps you step out of that, I need to heal. Because when we're stuck in the thoughts of I need to heal, that is where we stay. We stay constantly in needing to heal rather than I'm already healed. What helps us step into that is doing acceptance. We put our hands on our heart each day, focus on everything that is bad in our body, everything that's going wrong, all of the pain, all of the discomfort, all of the limitations. And you just say, I completely accept the state of my body right now and I am okay with it. And you do that a couple of times, really slowly. And what that does is commanding acceptance of your symptoms allows you to step away from that need to get away from them. You're no longer stuck in that tension around needing to heal because you've accepted it. You're not trying to run away from it anymore. And that allows you to step into that new mindset of everything's okay because you're not worrying about your body anymore. Your brain doesn't know the difference between visualizing and thinking. And so if you just put your mind into those thoughts, your brain will follow. Now, if you don't get to your emotional threads, it's never gonna be properly sustainable. But equally, if you've got to all of your emotional threads and the car isn't moving in the right direction, it could be because these neural pathways are so ingrained, you've been ill for so long that you just really need to like manually steer them in the right direction as well. So you get your emotional threads, you align your thoughts, you align your acceptance, you align your mindset, you align your language, and then everything shifts to this new you. Your pin drop is so important. I can't tell you how important that is. And so if you're still with me, tell me what your pin drop is in the comments and I will tell you if I think it's strong enough because it needs to be a really, really strong image that non-negotiably implies that you are well. So let me know what you're suffering with and what your pin drop is and I'll let you know if I think you've picked a good one.